Am I really gonna redo this whole level? I guess I am. Is this whole place I mean, I know the choice, but let's see if I could try to be faster. Now that Looks I know like what to do. Is falling apart around me. Uh, yeah, Dean. Br uh, Mike Pollock just is phenomenal All as the Eggman. And let's see who else is there. Amy, I actually like Lisa Ortiz as Amy Rose compared to. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what the adventure, the actress for for Amy in the adventure games, what her name is, but I like Lisa Ortiz more because when she does Amy, she has more emotion. She conveys more emotion as Amy than her previous voice actress. So those are... And then we got... And then you got Knuckles or Dan Green who voices who's voiced by who voices Knuckles. Yeah, uh, you know Dan Green. If you watched Yu-Gi-Oh, he's the one who voices Yugi Moto. So Knuckles is voiced by Yugi Moto, and I think that's cool. I like Dan Green as Knuckles. He also kind of gives a bit more emotion to Knuckles and. Also portrays his like headstrong attitude and like simple mindedness way better than I don't even know who was I don't even know the guy who voices Knuckles in the adventure game, if I have to be honest. Uh, now the Team Chaotix is seeing how the only the only other role we we see them in before this game, like with the speaking role, is Sonic Heroes. Yeah, it's not like we really got used to the other actors to really make like fair comparison. So Team Chaotix voices are, you know, they're about the same to me. I think, I mean, if I have to sit, if I really have to focus, I think I would, I do prefer the four kids uh, actors, or the four kids voices for the Team Chaotix more than the Sonic Heroes actors. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think who else is there. Cream is about the same, honestly. I think Big is also like the same. Uh. Now, when it comes to the ones I don't like, or that I feel like are a bit of a downgrade, there's only one I can think of, and it's Rouge. Rouge is probably the only one I do not like. So I don't know if you guys like got a good glimpse of her voice or got to hear a good glimpse of her voice when we did missions with her but my only issue with her is that she sounds way too old the the voice actress for that they got for Rouge for four kids she sounds way too old for me and I don't know like her voice kind of gives me like a vibe of a some type of a, uh, some type of, like a type of woman. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to be, be judgy or anything. You know, if you know, you know. But I just prefer the, the voice for Rouge in the adventure games. I don't know the actress's name either, unfortunately. But all I know is that it's. The one who, the Have voice actress for Rouge in the adventure games, um, she also does the voice for Ivy from the Soul Calibur series, which I think that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that until I looked it up. Oh, okay. We gotta hurry up and get to the end. 
We have more time this time, so I guess last time I was really just lacking. Yeah, th so the four kids. I don't even know the the actress's name for the four kids, uh, Rouge. But I I don't know. Like I said, she just sounds too old and uh, like. I don't know, I guess, like her voice, they try to make Rouge sound like a, I guess they try to give her like a femme fatale type of voice, and I get that that's what Rouge is supposed to be, but, eh, it kinda like that, her voice kinda just makes her boil down to just that, whereas, her actress and a, her voice actress and adventure, I felt like gave her more emotion. Bingo! The computer room. So that's really what my thoughts are on the voice acting. Now this is the first game with them, so for what reason do I you know, exist? I'll the talk a little more a about bed. their performances in the other games so we could see how they improve. But I think for the majority, like I think mainly Sonic wasn't really well received. I can't speak for the other ones. What is this defiance? Black Doom, I need to know the truth. Am I the one the humans refer to as the evil one? Tell me, I need to know. It is true. I created you. You are a part of me. Hey, Shadow! You okay? If that's true, then I'll have to accept my responsibilities for my crimes. I will avenge the victims who died aboard the Ark on that tragic day. The humans seem to have convinced you that this absurd. Therefore, I have no choice but to kill you too. Those humans have brainwashed you and your feeble mind. Alright, so now we're at the final boss of this pass, which is Black Doom. So this is the final, the last of the final bosses that you can fight at the end of every pass. I think if we would have picked the hero, pat, like if we would have done the hero mission for uh, was it for Gun Fortress, uh, we would have fought Black Doom instead of Sonic. Doom. We would have fought the boss. Or we would have fought Black Doom instead of uh, uh, instead of Sonic and. Diablon? That what it's called? I don't know. Right here we are having our final showdown with Black Doom on the Ark. And I missed that, that's crazy. Pick up this M16. Kinda looks like it. What the hell? You're not a ha ha? There you go. Oh, Alright, I'm about to end it right here. Don't tell me he's like disappearing. Cause I don't know why I can't hit him. You traitor! Do not think that this is over. Well, we defeated Black Doom. This is what I must do for my atonement. And just like how Vector behind me vibe into some music after we just 
defeated the leader of the Black Arms. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. Research experiment gone deadly wrong. I've caused so much destruction. I should never have been created. This is who I am. Hey, don't go there yet. Things may not be what they seem. You could be. I gotta say that ending is a little bit more morbid. With Shadow just straight up believing that he was better off. That he's just kind of better off being dead since he was created for pure evil. Um, according to what everyone was telling him. So. Yeah, I guess that's why it's the, the semi-hero path because... While he is heroic, he's really only doing it to just kind of right the wrongs that he did. Kind of like a redemption arc type of thing, but, you know. Uh, um, hey, we a lot done with Chow Gun. I'm so glad we could skip these credits, but anyways, so that was a semi-hero path. We only have one more path left, which is the pure hero path. And after that, we'll be able to do the last story, and then we can finally be done with this game. Not that I haven't... Not to say that I haven't enjoyed playing this so far, but... Eh, like I said, it's kind of like whatever for me. Uh, You know, it's just something that... It's a game that I really play to pass the time, but I don't really, I just kind of want to be done with this and just move on. But yeah, uh, tune in next time and we'll do the final, the final path. <laughs>